before my surgery, the day before. Scarlet is having some fun with Allie. I'm just kind of waiting in limbo to go get my COVID test because they are making me get a COVID test before having my surgery. Um, and the results don't come back for 24 hours. So while I'm heading there for surgery tomorrow, they might not even have my results yet. So it's kind of weird. I don't know how that's going to work out. But I was supposed to work today, 2 to 11. My leg is acting up pretty badly. Uh, I can't take any painkillers. I can't take any Advil or anything like that leading up into the surgery. Uh, they told me I can have some water and or some coffee tomorrow morning. As long as it's three hours or more before the surgery time. But I don't I don't even think I'm going to do that. Because I, I tend to like overdo it when I when I like wake up and I start drinking like coffee or water or whatever I, I just I do a lot so I think I'm just going to try to wake up as late as possible tomorrow and that way I won't really have to worry about it they did recommend that today I overdo my hydration and just drink a lot of water maybe a lot of Gatorade just because that helps to flush out the, uh, the anesthesia tomorrow so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna be drinking tons of water now we're gonna get we're gonna get me ready to go get my COVID test, and then we might do some last minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, we might yeah, do some last yeah, minute like maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. things I can't do after surgery. Like maybe I'll move my PlayStation to the room where we put the recliner. That you know what? I should show you guys that. So because our couch is not very comfortable for uh, sitting, like at all, like it really it really bothers that nerve. Uh, we have this recliner just here in the bedroom. This will also help uh, if I want to sleep still next to Marissa. Sorry about the messy bed, but it'll help if I want to like just recline in that and sleep in that uh, if being elevated helps me. I don't think it's going to matter. I'm supposed to lay flat, so I'm just going to play it by ear with that. I'm either going to sleep in the recliner or the bed. I just don't know yet, uh, but we have both options available to us right now, so I might bring like the PlayStation in here, so if I am spending a lot of time in this room... I'm not bored out of my mind because we do have a Roku TV here, but there's only so much I can watch. Scarlett's trying to give me her shoes right now. You want to go with Dada? You want to go with Dada while he gets his COVID test? I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but yeah, you can come with me. You got to get dressed first, honey. I feel so bad for you because you're so oblivious to the fact that you're getting surgery next week too. You know, Scarlett, I've requested a lot of jello and pudding be in the house, so we're gonna have to hope that mommy goes and gets some jello and pudding. Oh, maybe maybe Allie can go get some jello and pudding. I'm not gonna put your shoes on right now. You could put them on. Oh. It's okay. I'm just lounging against the stove. It's weird when she does this because she doesn't normally do like sit like this, but this is how she's gonna be positioned in the spike of cast. It's almost like she kind of knows. I don't know if like she's just smarter than I give her credit for, and she understands everything we're saying. Like maybe she does know she's getting surgery. Maybe she knows what surgery is. No, you don't know. Okay. So you just did your COVID test. How yeah, was that? I don't miss that. <laughs> At least you got to do it yourself. They gave you the option. Yeah. It's a PCR test though, and those have a high fail rate. Oh. Meaning they're not always accurate. Oh, well, maybe you won't be getting surgery tomorrow. <laughs> so it's like 
11.56. Five minutes before I can... 11.57. Three minutes until I can no longer eat or drink. Uh, I just showered. I'm so nervous that I grabbed the wrong pants for pajamas. These are Marissa's. And... No, I'm good. Nope. Nope. I just brushed my teeth. Oh. Well, that's it then, huh? So I'm pretty nervous. I'm gonna have some Tylenol now, though. Because I can. Woke up extremely hungry this morning. Probably because I ate so much yesterday. And I can't eat anything. I'm about three hours away from surgery time, so that's fun. Uh, I did a little preparing, and by that I mean I took my PlayStation from the living room and put it in the bedroom for now. So that way I can just kind of like, I guess, lay there and play some games or watch some, I don't know, just try to occupy my mind for the first couple days because I don't think I'm going to be able to get up and really do much the first couple of days. But we'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll get the surgery and wake up and be able to run a marathon. Who knows? Well, they told me to wear loose-fitting clothes before my surgery, so here I am in just a white t-shirt and some Puma gym shorts. I'm hoping these are loose enough. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we're going to be leaving in about an hour. Marissa right now is just getting the baby dress changed and ready uh, because Scarlett is go- Oh, it's okay, honey. Scarlett is going with her grandma and great-grandma today. Well, Marissa shuttles me back and forth, I guess. Oh, why are you playing with a coat hanger? <laughs> That's not a toy. Well, it is right now. What about this? Oh, the keys. Okay. Good response. <laughs> yeah, you can bite it. You're right. I don't know how, but we're literally in the same spot as the last time we were here. But we're here. That's just how it works out, I guess. Yeah, it's just really weird. That happens like in restaurants and stuff. Like we'll always get the same table. Like it's just really strange. But you all right? Yeah. Just like I said earlier, it's, you know, try to think of the what's gonna happen. Like how it's gonna be. You're gonna feel better, hopefully, and no yeah. more pain. Yeah. It's. I don't know. We'll see. I, I hope it gets rid of the pain. I know it's scary, but. It could, it could be worse. Well, we're not going to think like that. We're going to think positive, positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. Oh, no matter what, I'm just going to focus on exercising and getting better and just... Yeah. Do they have you do physical therapy afterwards? Yeah. Oh, they do? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need it. All right. Unlikely. Um, yeah. Here, let's get you checked in and uh, ready. Yeah, I'm going to get my mask on. Oh, yeah, mask. Damn it, COVID. Two thousand years later so i just had my surgery and i hello sorry this car is so loud um is so it, how you feeling it's weird because like where they did it on the left it feel what are we parking for because i want to vlog you oh oh there's so water you, yeah you talk to the vlog first the ocean. or your, your vlog your dad talk vlog, and so, then I'm gonna vlog. Uh, I had I woke up and it's it, been I, four uh, hours. They told me what I wanted, and I was like, "How do you know?" And they said you wouldn't stop talking about New York system. <laughs> so I guess at some point I just kept asking for wieners. Um, <laughs> my right side hurts more than my left side now. Um. I get the feeling I'm going to need to have the right side done too, oh, but I hope not. It, it hurts worse than what the left side hurt, but they just gave me some oxycodone and I said, what's that? Is that Vicodin? And she said, no, and I'm pretty sure it's Vicodin, so I don't know what the she's talking about. But I don't know. They gave me a prescriptions. Prescri the yeah, we're going to go get those. We're going to go get them. Um... I, I, I want to go back in there and go to bed. Uh, it You're was gonna go to your bed. so nice. And they give you a blanket, they, it looks yeah, like. Yeah. Huh? Yo, they give you the blanket, and it's so hot. And I'm like, is this in an oven? And they're like, no, it's just so cold in here. It feels hot. And I'm like, no, this came out of an oven or something. It's just, <laughs> like, feel it. Like, it's so hot. 
it feels so nice on it's me. It's not hot anymore, but I yeah. Ha I have to wear compression socks for three days, and I'm sorry. I told them to apologize to you for me, what? but I can't shower for three days. I know, they told me. So I'm going to be a stinky mess. And you can take a little sponge bath. I get a little white You can wipe down. your sweaty areas. I can't take my bandages off for three days. No. Um... I, I, can we go eat? I'm hungry. Yeah, we're gonna go to the pharmacy and. They gave me a graham cracker and a half. <laughs> wow. And two waters, and they're like, "We're gonna have you pee now," and I'm like, "How? I gotta get up." Did you go pee? Yeah, they yeah, brought they me to the bathroom, leave. and she was like, "I'm just gonna stand in here with you, so I hope you're not shy." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> whatever. You you want to watch me pee? That's that's your business." So. Well, great. Uh, yeah, let's go fucking eat, man. <laughs> All right. I'm starving and... You know what? I'm not vlogging another clip. This is part of our vlog I, now, as you guys can see. I want to go eat and... Hey, right, we're going to go. I need some food in me. All right. Thank you for being so patient. It, I know it's late. It's fine. I, I, I did my best. I love and... you here and it's, it's great, man. Um, Walking wasn't too bad. Uh... Just the sitting is terrible. So I can only sit for for a little bit, so we can't really. I know you got to get up every thirty minutes. Yeah, I got to walk. So that's gonna be fun. Blood clots and stuff. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna put our directions here because so, I'm uh, terrible at finding my. Oh way no! Home. I can show you. You go out and go left, and you just follow the road. All right. Let's see if so, we can do this. We're gonna go in the water, and we're gonna go home. We're not going in the water. We're going, we're going around, in the we're water. Going around the water. And that's what's happening right now. Thank you, Dr. Servian. Um, yeah, I talked to him on the phone. He came, he came in, he said, hey, what's up? What are we doing today? And I'm like, you, I hope you know. I hope you know. I don't, I'm, and he, he, he put a giant X on my back. And then the <laughs> other nurses came in to check to see where it was. And I'm like, you're looking at the wrong side, honey. <laughs> it's on my left, not my right. Oh, gosh. Um, but yeah, I got blood in my hair. Yeah, there's blood on top. Um, I'll have to show you guys later. So I don't know why they explained it to me. Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> they explained it to me, and I it just still, still didn't make sense as to why there's blood on my hair. They put something on the sides of your head to stop your head from shaking, possibly. Yeah, and it, they told they told me if I have any problems to call. Only in Rhode Island will you see a piece of a pickup truck in the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> There's literally a pickup truck flatbed in the pickup truck. So night one, post-surgery. Um, I tried my best not to take the oxy, but at like 9.30 p.m. Uh, where the surgical site was, the, oh God, the pain was just too unbearable. So I had to take one. I just took some Tylenol now, it's 11.30, so it's gonna help a little more. I feel good, otherwise my leg still feels good. Um, I'm gonna try to go to bed now. So the next time you see me, it's gonna be the next day. So far, so good. So this is the morning of day two after my surgery. Uh, I've got no drugs in me right now. No muscle relaxer, uh, no Oxycontin, no Tylenol, nothing. Um, still so far, so good. I do have a small, small amount of sciatic pain uh, kind of at the top of my left hip above my butt um, similar to what I had before the surgery but nothing as extreme like it's not affecting my leg at all my leg still feels 100% so it's just that small little just sciatic pinch going on there I imagine it's from just the inflammation and everything from the surgery uh, we'll see how that goes over the next couple days but so far so good day two's off to a good start I'm making a coffee I'm gonna have some blueberry muffins, and if this doesn't fade, uh, I'll take I'll take maybe a muscle relaxer and see what happens. But day two after my dis discectomy, <laughs> such a weird word to say, discectomy. So far, so good. Um, I do believe they did a laminotomy, a laminectomy, le lemon. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Something like that. It's where they like cut the bone and uh, get in there. I feel like they did that to me. Um, even though that wasn't the game plan, they, they he said he had a clear shot in without having to do that. Uh, but 
my markings, like my surgical markings on my back are nothing. Sorry, battery died, yeah. Um, the markings on my back were just not the same at all. Like they originally marked just the left side uh, with, a, with an X on where they were gonna do the surgery. Uh, when I got home, I, I noticed how my spine felt, like the, the, the bone itself and around where the surgical area would be. It just didn't feel right. Like it felt like a very skeletal pain, even while on all the drugs they're giving me. Uh, and that was that was the worst of my pain yesterday, was that feeling. I don't have that feeling today. That actually feels all right. I do have kind of like a lumbar strain type feeling going on up there now, but nothing too extreme. But uh, it looks like they did another incision on this side. I won't know until the until the um uh, my my dressing comes off on Saturday. So I won't really know. I won't get an idea. Uh, I'll be able to ask them at my my post op uh, consultation on the seventh, but that's so long away. Um, but for now, everything's so far so good. Like I said, just a small little pinch uh, at the sciatic area over there, but I'm I'm feeling good, I'm feeling pretty good. I can't remember if I already mentioned it or not, but I am running a very low fever. I called my, my doctor's office to let them know. I had to leave a voicemail because they weren't they weren't at the desk. Uh, my fever is 100, uh, 100? it's a 100.4. Um, I do have a fan over there blowing on me while I kind of like recline back and play some Skyrim. Uh, I don't know why I'm playing Skyrim. It just feels like the right thing to do while I'm uh, <laughs> recovering. So I play that for a half hour. I get up, I walk around, and then I continue on with my dragon slaying. But so far, so good still with the uh, recovery process. Uh, I still got a little bit of that sciatic pinch. My leg has gone back to feeling normal again. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's looking good right now. I've got Allie outside playing. Uh, Marissa took Scarlett to the playground. Hi, Allie. Allie's just bored and lonely, I guess. Oh, you don't want to play? I thought you wanted to be outside. You don't want to be out there? You can play. You don't have to come in. I'm okay. I think she's worried about me. The first thing she did this morning was hug me. And Ellie doesn't do that. So I'm on my first post-surgery walk. Second, well, next day after surgery. So just going to Walgreens, which is not far from our house. So I have to get some Twix for Marissa because she's been taking care of me. So I got her two bags of the Twix fun size, which is, I'm sure, going to brighten her spirits for the entire weekend. So not too bad of a trip. Um, I am getting a little bit of that leg pain that I used to get, so I think when I get home I'm going to take a muscle relaxer and see if that helps that a little bit, and I'll take it from there. But yeah, I got Marissa her Twix. It wasn't really a necessity, but it got me out of the house, and I'm sure she'll appreciate it. So one bad thing about coming home from the hospital yesterday all drugged up and not really remembering instructions they gave me is they gave me these little ice packs to wrap around my back. and. I never did that. I never did any ice. But I they, thought it was my fault because they told me and yeah. I just didn't remember. So they go and ice goes in here and then this ties around my my waist to my back. And I, I just put one on just before having dinner tonight. And it's making a huge difference. Like it, amazing difference, like where the, the surgical site is. So I wish I had remembered this last night and this morning, but hey, it's working now. And that's that's all that matters, I guess nearing the end of day one after surgery and I'm starting to have really sharp pain on the right side in my lower back now. Uh, I just put some ice back on it to try and help it out. Um, it has been a while since I've taken anything like strong for pain so I just took a muscle relaxer again. Hopefully that'll loosen up that tightness. I think I was, I think I was sitting for too long. I think that's what the problem was. I'm just gonna stay on my feet for a little bit, walk around and hope that helps. So this is day two after my surgery. Sorry if there's weird sounds of a baby and baby toys. Um, today is, is, it's hard to talk. Today the pain is a lot worse than it was yesterday. Um, the right side of my back hurts. I'm uncomfortable in every position. Um, 
I I'm still able to walk around. Walking is not an issue for me. I can walk no problem. Uh, anything other than walking is just very unpleasant and very painful. Um, the medicine works uh, enough, I guess, to get me through. Like I'm not I'm not suffering by any means, but I would be if I if I didn't take anything. So there's that. Uh, let's hope that tomorrow brings. Uh, new feeling. I think tomorrow uh, my footage will be a little more formal. I think I'll sit down and maybe just kind of go over what the last couple days have been like. But for right now, we're just making dinner, and there's my caretaker. She's been she's been helping me out. She's been keeping track of my meds to make sure I don't OD. So that's always nice <laughs> because if it weren't for her, I don't. I can't tell you the last time I took something, and I, I'm probably the one who wrote it down, right? Yeah, you wrote it. Yeah, down. Like, I have I have no idea. Like this. I don't know how people live on, on prescription painkillers. There are people who pop these things for fun. There's nothing fun about this. I'm, I, <laughs> I would love to know how to take this recreational because I'd love to know how to have a good time on this shit. There's no good time. Right, so here we are, day three after the surgery. It's been a long day. My pain levels have been very low, which is good. I mean, I, I'm in pain, but I'm not anywhere near as bad as yesterday. My, my mobility is a lot better. Um, my right hip hurts <laughs> i don't know why um i guess it hurts a lot like it feels like my entire right side is strained uh which is weird because i had surgery on the left side but anyway we're gonna i can shower now so we're gonna take the dressing off and leave the steri strips that are there there so we get to see kind of what the incision looks like i guess i don't know i'm trusting you with this don't rip me open how hard can this be i don't know all right, so, oh, I have to vlog too at yeah, the same guess, time. I guess we're, oh boy. Let's see what it looks like. All right. I don't think you guys saw it beforehand either, so. No. Here you go. You see where the mark is. I'm excited he had, for the shower. I know, I'm excited for you to shower too. I cleaned the sheets and the bed and everything. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of drainage here and here. My shadow's not in the way. There we go. Yeah, so these two spots, these were on the first day and it hasn't done anything else, so. It's been healing great that we can see from this point of view. We might take this off and it could be like yellow green. Who knows? I know. That would be terrible. It would. We'd have to go to the hospital. But like, I don't even know how to do this without hurting you. I don't know either. Like, how the hell? This is to remove the, cl the clear plastic. Yeah, I'm trying to pick it up, but I don't have nails because I bit them all off because my anxiety and nerves from the baby surgery coming up. Can you get it at all? <laughs> You call the doctor. I can't get it off. I don't know if I'm supposed to take this off. I think, yeah, I think that's how you do it. I got it now. Are you sure? Because it feels like it's ripping my skin. There we go. Obviously, if you guys are uh, weak stomach, maybe not look anymore. Ah, all right. Ooh. Oh, oh, there's there's all the blood. It's it's not bad, but you can. All right, you don't see nothing. Just uh. Well, there's, there's your pad. Oh, that's not bad at all. No, but as you guys can see, what? it's just a stereo strip, so you still can't see anything. But I imagine that the wound is like right here, it looks like, where the line is, obviously. It looks like maybe down here, too. Yeah, they weren't supposed to go on this side, but I feel like they did. I don't know, but it doesn't look bad to me.